So I have a Smitty built XRC winch that I like a lot. It's mounted to my body armor slimline bumper on my fifth gen forerunner. This is the controller. In and out buttons. This is the plug, Canon six pin XLR. And if you're familiar with this setup, you have to reach in behind the bumper through the shroud in the engine compartment to reach the winch way back there. It's tough to get your arm in here. You uh, unlock it through here and reach all the way back. So what I decided to do is to mount an extension here where I've drilled this hole. And uh, this is the extension. It's a six pin chassis mount connector with a little environmental cover. That's the nut and the plug that'll go into the winch behind the bumper. Let's see how it turns out. All right, so I drilled the mount holes, fed the wire through, and now all we need to do is line up the plug and the cover and get it mounted. It'll look like that when it's done. Of course, it'll actually close. All right, so it's mounted and I've got it plugged in with the controller. Um, you can see the in and out connections or lights on it. So here we go, pulling it out. Uh, no tension, of course, but you get the idea going back in. Much better than having to reach behind the bumper. And the cable is long enough. It'll go all the way over and work inside the driver's compartment if I need to operate it while I'm driving. Or I can stand pretty much wherever I need to be on the outside to watch the winch to take it in. And uh, here's a finished product with it mounted on the outside and the cover closed. Shroud's all covered up. I still have to get in here, like I said, to unlock or lock the winch. But for the most part, I think uh, it's a pretty clean install. And uh, I'll put all the parts in the comments. Hope it helps you guys out. See you next time.